comprehensive news and sports. A roundup of the day's happenings, national, regional, international, all relevant, all important to you. The most comprehensive news in Trinidad and Tobago. We present the facts and you form your opinions. You'll never miss anything again. Aspire, Aspire TV, TV, online, online TV. TV, you'll never miss a thing again. Good afternoon, I'm Suan Ben Goshi with your news here on Aspire TV. An eight-year-old schoolboy is currently warded at the San Fernando Teaching Hospital with a broken left leg after an incident at his school last month where he was allegedly attacked by another pupil while at school. The schoolboy from South had to undergo surgery in an attempt to hold the broken bones together. He is said to be in extreme pain and cannot be administered with strong painkillers at the moment. Speaking from his bedside yesterday at the pediatric ward, his concerned mother said she was told that there was an incident involving her son at the school and that she should immediately come in. When she got to the school, she saw her son's legs swollen and bent. The mother said she met with the principal of the school and the mother of the child. However, she says the principal seems to label it an accident and the mother of the child said her son would never do that. But according to the injured student, the other student walked up to him and snapped him, then jump kicked him and he fell. He added that the same boy had beaten him up before. In other news, a 33-year-old woman from South Trinidad fares for her life and her four children, three of whom are living with her. The distraught woman said the incident involving a female taxi driver who was brutally beaten by her ex-lover has brought on indescribable fears and reminded her of how often she would be badly beaten in public and no one would help her. She said up to yesterday she received several death threats from her 48-year-old common-law husband who lives in Central. The woman said she sought help from the courts but added that the system had failed her. She said she went to court and the matter was withdrawn despite the evidence against her common-law husband. She was then told to go to family court to seek help. Several reports were made to the police but so far officers have been only able to secure an interim protection order for the woman. In other news, 18-year-old Eric Ganesh is expected to be cremated tomorrow after a funeral at his family's home at St. Charles Village in Princess Town. On Saturday at about 10.35 p.m., a gunman shot and killed Ganesh at his friend's graphics shop next door to Ganesh's home. Ganesh and his friend were putting stickers on a motorbike when the unknown man entered the yard. Police said the man pointed a gun at them and began shooting. Ganesh was shot in the head and died on the spot while the friend escaped without physical injuries. The gunman ran off, got into a car and drove away. Police believe Ganesh was not the intended target and was an innocent victim. Although police searched the area the same night, the gunman remained at large up to yesterday. Homicide Bureau Region 3 and the Princess Town Police are investigating. And a man has been shot and killed in Pleasantville, San Fernando. 39-year-old Darren Carter, also known as Papa, was shot dead outside his home. Reports are that around 10 a.m., a man walked up to Carter near his home and shot him. Carter was shot by a man who walked up to him near his house. He died at the scene. I'm Suan Ben Goshi, and that's a look at news here on Aspire TV. Aspire TV, online TV, you'll never miss a thing again.